judgment in the matter of R on the application of Mott versus the Environment Agency. Lord Carnworth will explain the decision of the court. <clears throat> Mr. Mott had a leasehold interest in a putcher rank fishery on the banks of the Severn Estuary. It was his full-time occupation. A putcher rank is an old fishing technique involving the use of conical baskets to trap adult salmon as they return from the open sea to their rivers of origin, in this case the Wye and the Usk. These rivers are designated as special areas of conservation under European law. Unfortunately, exploitation of salmon stocks in the area has led to their depletion and the need for conservation measures by the Environment Agency, including restrictions on fishing. Mr. Mott needed an annual licence from the agency under Section 25 of the Salmon Freshwater Fisheries Act 1975. In June 2012, the agency notified Mr. Mott of their intention to limit his catch to 30 fish for the 2012 season and lower limits for subsequent years. No compensation was offered. Mr. Mott started these proceedings for judicial review, claiming that the catch limits made his fishery wholly uneconomic. He argued that the limits were irrational and that in any event that without compensation they were in breach of his property rights under Article 1 of Protocol 1 of the European Convention on Human Rights. The Court of Appeal, disagreeing with the judge, dismissed his case on irrationality, but in agreement with the judge held that there was a breach of the convention in the failure to offer compensation. On that last issue, the agency appealed to this court, but the Supreme Court unanimously dismisses that appeal for reasons which are given in a judgment prepared by myself with the agreement of the other members of the court. In short, much of the argument focused on the distinction drawn in the European cases between expropriation and control but the Supreme Court considers that this is not crucial to the present analysis. The important question in this case was whether, in the absence of compensation, the effect on the particular claimant was excessive and disproportionate and um, inconsistent with the fair balance required to be drawn under the Convention. The special importance of environmental protection must be recognised, but it is not overriding. The court finds no error in the judge's evaluation in this case. He was entitled to hold that the conditions imposed by the agency were closer to deprivation than mere control and that the agency had given no consideration to the particular impact on Mr Mott's livelihood. This was exceptional on the facts, both because of the severity of the effects on him and the disproportion of those effects as compared to other people affected by the restrictions. The decision cannot therefore be taken as giving rise to a general expectation of compensation for adverse effects of environmental controls in other cases, but on the facts of this case, the judge was entitled to reach the view he did. Thank you. The court will now adjourn.